Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 11 video in VCP7 data center virtualization 2020 and in this video we are going to see how to create vSphere storage DRS data store cluster. So if you are running um, storage or uh, data store without cluster so you might be uh, going to face some issue while the storage like your data store is going to full uh, you might be need to extend the data store or you, uh, you might need to do the v storage vmotion from one data store to another data store to balance the data store to be available uh, uh, available free space like if you want to maintain the data uh, data store to be uh, make sure the 10 percent available free space is available in data store and you have not configured the data store is cluster then you are going to do it manually so since since this is going to be a very easy task to create and configure the SDRS storage uh, cluster for the VMware so I recommend everyone to go ahead and create the data store cluster so it provide multiple features like uh, it can it can read uh, 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 do the storage migration for a virtual machine based on the uh, like IOPS how uh, if the any uh, any particular data store is getting high ops due to due to any particular virtual machine or anything then then it will make sure the other uh, if the other data store is getting low low IOPS then it will migrate uh, the uh, load IOPS loads to all among all the storage uh, data stores available so this does the all the calculation for, for the V for the like data store cluster and it will make sure the loads and the size and everything is going to be distributed on across the all the data stores so we'll see how how uh, how we can categorize this and how we can configure this load and free spenders and everything when we are going to create the data store cluster so in this video we got uh, our ISCSI server which is providing the learns to our uh, ESXi host so we have configured this uh, e uh, ISCSI host in last few videos where we have created few learns and uh, those learns got mapped to the our ESXi host so this is win 2 k 19 ISCSI server I have installed ISCSI target server on this server so this is kind of a storage server you can say so let's verify this server so you can see here ISCSI uh, win 2k16 uh, 19 ISKC server and this is joined in my domain if I go go to files and storage and if I go to ISKC you will see we got four five hundred a gig uh, disk which is uh, which is all connected with the ESXi cluster which we have in so so uh, these four storage is basically connected uh, to our ESXi host and then we are going to create the data store on it so so other demo environment machines I got my uh, uh, domain control which is Win2K19 DC01 so this is my domain control which is running Active Directory and DNS role on this machine so this is my domain control up and uh, the one uh, we got two ESXi host ESXi01 and ESXi02 so these two NICs are connected with the storage which we have uh, storage network which we have on ISKC server so I have configured this ISKC network in our last few videos so you, if you have if you want to uh, check how, how to configure the ISKC target for the ESXi host you can go and watch those videos so the second machine is ESXi host is ESXi 0T which is also in my labs and domain so if I go here you can see these are the two ESXi hosts which both are running ESX VMware ESXi 7.0.0 so both are uh, basically joined in my vCenter server which is INVCSS01 so the role of this machine is VMware vCenter server appliance which is running 7.0 so if I go here this is my Windows 10 machine which I use to access my VMware environment so this is my vCenter console if you want to check so this is uh, INVCSS01 so this is running 7.0.0 so now we are going to create our data store cluster so the first thing which you need to make sure your uh, all the data store is connected with all the ESXi host and having the correct mapping so if I go here on data stores on my vCenter you can see all my four data stores and if I go on data stores you can see we got four data stores which is DS01 to DS04 and if I go on any of the if I click on any of the these data stores so I can see here it's connected with two hosts and if you want to see the hosts 
we can see the host so it's connected with the both ESXi host in our environment and if it's correct uh, connected with the even if it's connected with the data uh, cluster itself not not with the host you, you need to make sure you have configured the correct zoning so all the all the data store is mapped with the all the ESXi host correctly so if any of the ESXi host is not getting connected with the data store might be you will uh, you will get error message while creating the data store cluster so let's go now and to create a data so you just need to create click on data uh, data center uh, anywhere and then go right click and th then go to storage and new data store cluster so click on this button so you will see here this option which is going to be a data store cluster so I'm going to call it like India DS cluster so if you are going to click turn on storage DRS you will see few other options like the storage DRS automation and runtime uh, all these settings so let's click this and click next then you will see what is the customization level you want for the uh, this data store cluster so if you see here no automation means manual ma manual uh, mode it's going to give you recommendations so whenever whenever the virtual machine required uh, migration or something it it's going to give you recommendation but no uh, no automatic uh, migration is going to be performed by the vCenter itself so if you select the fully automated it's going to take the um, calculation of all these available parameters and then it's going to be fully automate the storage migration so if uh, it it will try to load balance this uh, iops uh, and it's going to load ba load balance the storage space and everything like uh, policy inform uh, enforcement and everything so i recommend you to go ahead with the flu uh, fully automated and click next and then you have the matrix if you want to enable the io matrix you should enable this because it's going to uh, um, uh, basically monitor all the all your I, IOPS for the your data stores and get going to do the basically you can see the uh, take the decision and it will migrate the storage uh, storage for the virtual machine if it's going to uh, feel any data store having high ops so this is IOPS latency if you want to set you can set it also from minimum 5 ms to uh, 100 ms so I'm going to set it to 15 leave the default and storage space also you can set so I'm going to set it to 90 so basically so it's going to maintain the utilizer space threshold as a 90 and minimum space also you can give like 100 gig or 1 gig whatever you uh, recommend to have so I'm going to give it like uh, uh, utilize space this is most recommended so click next now it's going to give you the cluster if you have a cluster it's going to give us so all the cluster available cluster and for now I have not created cluster in this environment so let's go here and select the board the ESXi host and when I'm going to click next it's going to give you the all the option which data store you can select and you will see also this is most is important you can see all hosts connected so it means the all hosts which we have selected it's connected with the these all data stores so this is good and if you have any error you can um, issue here in the host connectivity status I recommend you to go ahead and uh, fix those issue and then come back and create the storage cluster so I'm going to leave one cluster and uh, one data store and I'm going to add this data store later on in the in this cluster so just click next so we have selected three data stores you can see the free space and you can see the type of the data store uh, volume so just click, click on finish and now you will see that uh, IN DS cluster is created and all three data store is move to this uh, uh, this cluster basically and you can see the total data store total VMDK and you can see even how many VMs is running on this data stores so now what I'm going to do I'm going to move this uh, uh, basically I'm going to add this uh, individual data store in this cluster so to, to do this task this is very uh, like easy you can just pick drag and drop to the 
storage cluster so it will move to the storage cluster so now if you go here you can see the total data storage is 4 and you can see the size also and you can see the VMs how many VMs we have if you got the VM template you can see you can see all the four data stores now and all other options if you want to customize this data store later on might be uh, you you want to disable the uh, storage DRS you can go ahead and click that so it's going to disable your uh, automated migration for the all the virtual machines virtual machine storage might be you, you require to do this if if you if you see there is lots of storage vmotion running for virtual machine due to this uh, fully automated then you can turn off this and you can make this balance as per your requirement from the here specific thing you can select and you can do it so most of the case it's going to work well when you are going to turn on the uh, aut um, basically uh, storage DRS and you have configured everything correctly as per your environment and requirement so this is good so this is how you can create the vSphere storage uh, DRS data store cluster so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye